Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's art topic, I'm going to be asking the question, is realism real art? And this is a real hot topic amongst realism artists. So for this video, I thought it would be entirely appropriate to show you a time lapse of one of my realistic drawings. I've recently completed this puff in and you're going to be watching this in the background whilst we discuss this topic. So without further ado, let's get into it. So most people think that realism is not a true art expression. And I often hear the comment of how can copying from a photo, how can that be real art? And to those people saying that, I have to ask them, have they actually tried to draw in a realistic style or paint in a realistic style? Because I don't know about you guys, but realism is hard. It's not easy to be able to replicate something and get it to look realistic and get it to look three dimensional. It's not just something that people are born able to do. And those people that are making those comments about how can it be real art? How can you just copy from a photo? That isn't real art. And I bet if they tried to draw in a realistic style or replicate realism, they wouldn't be able to do it because it is a difficult art form to master. Realism, just like any other art form, it takes a long time to be able to build up that skill and to build up to your art style. Realism is no different from Impressionism, it's no different from Surrealism, no different from Abstract. All of those different art forms, all of the masters and all of the geniuses within those different art forms, it took them a lot of time to be able to get to the skill and to the level that they are today. So if you take a look at the master Monet, he is one of the most prolific impressionist artists. It took him a really long time to be able to achieve his level of skill. He wasn't just born that way. He didn't just wake up one day, pick up a paintbrush and he was just good. He built his skill and he took the time to learn his techniques and learn how to apply them to get to where he wanted to be. And that is no different with realism. So going back to that comment of how can copying from a photo be real art? Copying from a photo is absolutely no different than using your eyes and copying down what you're seeing. Let's face it, if da Vinci had access to a camera or anything to capture his scenes, he would absolutely 100% use it. Because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you use those tools at your disposal to make your job easier? Copying from a photograph is absolutely no different than using your eyes and copying down what you're seeing. I could walk outside right now, grab my sketchbook and my pencil and draw the trees and everything which I'm seeing outside. Or I could go outside and take a photo and use it as reference later. There's no difference in using a photograph and using your eyes in my opinion. To go along with that comment of copying from a photo, I often hear people saying that art isn't real unless it is something that you have imagined and that you have used your creative brain to produce. And that's not necessarily true because I believe that art is a reflection of your vision. And if your vision is captured within a photograph and you want to copy a photograph and produce it as realistically as possible, then that's great. That is art because that is your sort of creative journey. And I believe that art, real art, is a creative journey. So it's the development of the artist that I consider to be real art. I personally am not a fan of abstract art, but I'm not going to go out there and look at abstract artists and put them down for their art form because I don't personally like it. I'm going to look at their work and appreciate the amount of skill and the amount of hours that it has taken that particular artist to build their skill to be able to produce that level of work that they have created. And I think that people that say that realism isn't real art just don't really understand it or don't really appreciate it. There are a lot of comments from a lot of people that don't really understand realism art and they just say, well, why can't you just have a photograph hanging in a frame? Why do you have to have a drawing that looks like that photograph hanging in a frame? Isn't it a little bit pointless to just have something replicated from a photograph? So I'm gonna use myself here and the reason why I prefer realism and the reason that I like to do this style of art is because I like to try and reproduce something that does look realistic. I really revel in being able to create artworks that challenge the mind as to whether they are actually a photograph or whether they are a drawing. I personally like the challenge that that represents to myself. When I look at a photograph or a reference which I've picked out that I really want to draw, I'm really excited to be able to challenge myself to be able to recreate it. 
And I don't know if that's true for other realism artists and whether that's why they choose this art form, but that is why I have chosen this art form because I like that challenge of being able to create something that looks realistic and challenges the viewer's brain as to whether or not it is a photograph. There is something really challenging about trying to create something that looks realistic, that really excites me, and that's why I chose this type of art form. It also really speaks to me as well because I like that control and I like to be able to gain that level of detail that realism is able to give you. I've tried other art forms in the past, but the one that I keep coming back to is realism and these really detailed studies. It's just what I love doing and my brain really loves to be able to replicate something to make it look like a photograph. So to answer that question, is realism real art? Yes, of course it is real art. How can it not be? Anything is considered art, in my opinion, where you have a blank canvas and you are using whatever materials you wish to create something, where you are creating something from nothing, in a sense. So you've got a blank piece of paper and you've got some pencils or you've got some paints and you are using those pencils and paints to create something on that blank piece of paper. That that is real art and that is creativity. So for all of those people saying that it is not a real art form, I challenge you guys to actually try realism and see what results you get and just see how difficult it is to be able to create something that looks exactly like a photograph. It is really difficult and it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is and it is a real creative form because that is your creative vision, you're putting it down on paper, you're exploring yourself and it's your creative journey so it is a real art form. So for all of my realism artists out there, if you have people putting you down and giving you these comments that, oh, it's not real art because you're copying from a photo and you're not using your creative brain to make something unique and imaginative, challenge them to be able to do what you do and just see what they say and see their results if they do do it because they will not do it as good as you and they will realise that it is difficult and it's not an art form that should be put down. It's something that should be revelled in and it should be celebrated. And there shouldn't be this stigma around realism art about it not being a true art form because you're not producing something imaginative from your creative brain. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, I just wanted to create this short discussion on this topic just to help those people struggling with these types of comments because it does happen quite often and it does get people down so I just wanted to address this issue for some of those people. I'd really love to hear your thoughts about realism as an art form so drop a comment down below and let's get discussing. Thanks so much for watching this video guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it's answered a few common questions and those sort of burning hot topics about realism as an art form. If you like this video then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're new around here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and there are some more videos for you to explore just over there. But anyway, thanks for watching this one guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!